Hello everyone, welcome to our tutorial on working with LUTs in Exposure. LUT is short for Lookup Table, which is a file that transforms the colors in your images. We will cover how to import LUTs and apply them to images in this video. Exposure is the software we will use for this demonstration. It is our advanced photo editing and organizing application. You can download the fully functional trial from our website if you don't already own it. A LUT is a file that tells Exposure how to transform the colors in your image. The LUT file gives Exposure instructions to customize the color processing of an image according to a set of rules. This can enable creative adjustments such as simulating the look of a print or popular cinematic grading like orange and teal. LUTs are also freely available on the internet and from other photo and video apps making it easy to choose from a variety of styles. Exposure reads LUT files that use the .cube format. Many free resources on the internet use this format. Check out our blog for suggestions on where to find high quality free LUT files. Now we will demonstrate how to import LUTs into Exposure. In Exposure's LUT panel, click Browse. Click Import to navigate to where the LUTs are located. Click a single LUT to import it, or you can select multiple files at the same time. The dialog displays the LUTs you are importing. You can select the category or create new categories to organize your library. You can also set the color space the LUT was designed for. Most LUTs you'll find are designed for sRGB. If you're going to create a LUT in Photoshop, use Adobe RGB. You can change the color space in the LUT panel when you begin working with your imported LUT. In Exposure's LUT panel, click Browse to preview the installed LUTs in an adjustable grid. To find a LUT by name, type it into the search field. Press Apply once your selection is made. Lower the intensity to tone down the effect. Preview the change with the before-after comparison by pressing the backslash key. Exposure displays the size of the LUT. Common sizes are 32 cubed and 64 cubed. Larger sizes result in better quality but may take a little more processing time. After applying a LUT, you can further refine it using Exposure's editing tools, which include non-destructive layers for blending multiple LUTs, advanced color grading adjustments, and more. That concludes this demonstration of using LUTs in Exposure. Thanks for watching. Visit our website, exposure.software, for additional information about Exposure. While there, you can download the demo and try Exposure free. For the latest updates about all our video content, subscribe to our channel on YouTube.